The makers of Assassin's Creed want to revolutionize the franchise with the next game. It's called Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and it takes place in 1860s London, right at the end of the Industrial Revolution. That means it's the first Creed game set in the modern era with new technology like rope launchers, zip lines, and revolvers changing how you play. You'll also be able to get around and fight on top of carriages, and for those of you who like to stick to the shadows, the stealth combat is now more fluid, allowing you to snap back and forth from cover more easily. Assassin's Creed Syndicate comes out this fall. We'll catch up with the developers behind the game after the rundown. You don't need to be force sensitive to have seen this coming. Disney has unveiled Disney Infinity 3.0, the first in the series to feature Star Wars characters. It will launch this fall with characters, locations, and vehicles primarily from the original Star Wars trilogy, along with a playset and several figures based on the Clone Wars animated series. Best of all, playsets and characters based on the upcoming film Star Wars The Force Awakens will hit stores this winter. Developer Avalanche Software is working with Heavenly Sword and DMC Devil May Cry developer Ninja Theory to tweak the game. Gameplay. They hope to make the melee combat feel more smooth and realistic than the previous Disney Infinity titles, and thankfully, all the improvements will apply to older characters that you import into the new game. So much hugeness in the rundown today, and here to help me talk about that is EP's biggest toy fanatic, Marissa Roberto. Oh, toys to Life. I think that's you. Oh, that's me, right? Yeah, okay. Always get us confused. <laughs> uh, toys to Life, big deal. Disney yes. Infinity 3.0, big deal. Disney is not letting up on investing in this brand. No, but you knew that. Yeah, we, you were no saying surprise. that. No, no, yeah. you were saying that forever. And I, I think that's going to be the trouble here. There are going to be too many damn toys. We're yeah. going to all have to have second apartments or houses to be able to deal with these massive collections that are uh, going to be accumulating around yeah. this this property and the Lego property. Sure. Uh, do you think that the Disney stuff, I mean, you and I have gone back and forth about uh, how it compares to Skylanders. Yeah. yeah it looks like Disney is taking a lot of criticisms to heart and I, they're going to try so. to improve, right? I hope so, because the gameplay needs to be improved. Mm. They have the toys. Yes. They have the toys. Like, they're already in the bank with that. So, I mean, I want the toys just to collect them. Like, yeah. they have me on that. So, all they need to do is improve the game. They did some pretty massive improvements from uh, the 2.0 to the 1.0, and I yeah. think that this next jump is going to be uh, a pretty profound one for them. They're working with Ninja Theory again. I know that uh, the United Front Games folks are working on some stuff yeah. with the D Disney Infinity brand. All right, well, let's talk about Assassin's Creed. Yeah. This one is called Syndicate. You've already been to Quebec. You've met with the development team. What's your take on this game? Uh, well, I was really, I was, you know, just like a lot of people out there, I'm not really looking forward to another Assassin's Creed. And right. I do mention that in my interviews mm -hmm. as well because there's just been a lot of letdown, especially with the last one. So uh, I got really amped, though, when I saw the trailer for this thing and I yeah. saw some gameplay as well. I saw a pre-alpha build. And everyone, the whole dev team is so excited because this is the first time that Ubisoft Quebec has been the head of any game. They're being so, entrusted with this vaunted brand. Exactly, yes. and they're really excited about it. They're excited about the time period that it's taking place, and they're excited about their two assassins, two assassins. Can so. we call 2015 the year of uh, gothic uh, video game fiction? Sure, yes. Uh, we had it in the order. We have it in Bloodborne. Uh, we did, but we didn't Bloodborne. have it well, done well in the order. So it's maybe true. this will do it right. I this think it, it looks really cool. I mean, the streets are bigger, the buildings are taller, there are advertisements everywhere, so there's a lot of different um, opportunities for parkour. And I love the weapons that are introduced yes. in this as well, and I love his top hat, and you can switch to the hood whenever he's being stealth. And it looks like there's some uh, boxing, some bare knuckle boxing, mm -hmm. a little uh, Assassin's Creed a la Guy Ritchie. I got, I got excited watching yeah. this trailer, I have to say. So uh, I guess we'll just see what happens next, but I did, again, go to Quebec to talk about this game and learn all about it, and I'm excited to share the story with you. Right on. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.